Hi friends. Now today we are here live with you on this video to talk about a very very important exam that is for NIMHANS. NIMHANS is the most sought after institute for neurosciences. Like if neurosurgery is one of your dream subject, if neurology, if the way of the mind, if psychiatry is one of your dream, this is what you love doing. NIMHANS is the institute to go for. This is one of the most important central institute for neurosciences in the country today probably the most important in this you know if i tell you what are the courses available in nimhans look at this they have an integrated six year course direct mch course which is the most sought after course here you have a six year integrated for dm neurology also and to the best of my knowledge this is the only institute which offers direct dm neurology also after mbbs and you can if you are a die hard psychiatry fan you can even go for md psychiatry in this but the pattern of this exam is very dynamic Almost every year or every second year, they change, change the pattern of the exam. The pattern of the exam in 2018 was different from 2017. Reason I'm telling you this is because if you look at a previous guidebook available for NIMHANS, you might get confused. Our purpose of this video is to tell you what is the correct pattern of 2018. 2019 pattern is not been declared as yet, but we feel probably it will be like last year because they have dynamic, but usually they maintain a pattern. Mm -hmm. So in the last year pattern, we had a paper where you had total 100 questions, out of which 70 questions were common for everybody, which included all specialties just like NEET or AIMS, where you have all subjects in these 70 questions. But don't forget to, you don't miss out on them. Some students, they miss out on these 70 questions and they focus too much on these specialties. And in the end, even if you do well here and you do not do well here, you will not be doing your MCH neurosurgery in hands. Uh, you know, Sachin, what do you say about Speciality, you know, as in this, as I said, specialities are three, psychiatry, neurology, neurosurgery. And you have to choose one of the two, one of the three or two of the three or th all three. So whatever specialty you choose, you have to appear for 30 questions in that specialty. For example, the students who want to do MD psychiatry in NIMHANS, they have to prepare all subjects plus psychiatry in depth. That doesn't mean they won't get questions on neurosurgery, neurology, neuroanatomy, but that will be as at a normal level like you get for NEET. Okay, even uh, psychiatrist aspiring student have to read neuromedicine. Similarly, even neurosurgery aspiring student have to read psychiatry, but not in depth. So this is a good thing which they have done last year. So if you want to prepare for one particular speciality, this is usually the pattern in DM entrance in the country that whatever speciality you want to appear, you have to read that in depth. So, for example, if you want to read psychiatry for NIMHANS, that there is a difference between psychiatry reading for NIMHANS and psychiatry reading for NEET. NEET usually we have 7-8 questions on certain common topics, but NIMHANS usually ask certain topics in depth, like cer certain theories of schizophrenia or certain scientist related questions which are not asked in the NEET. They focus more on psychopharmacology, de-addiction drugs as compared to that in NEET. And sometimes they go into syndromic level in depth. But that is only for the students who want to appear for psychiatry. Like we talk about DM Neurology. If you want to prepare for DM Neurology in NIMHANS, the ideal book we tell is to follow Harrison Neurology. Uh, now, in Harrison Neurology, you also read Harrison CNS chapter for NEAT. But those are the common topics which you read, stroke, epilepsy, etc. But they ask more of ataxia, spinal cerebral ataxia, dementia, from dementia more in depth dementia, neuroradiological correlations and integrated as the basic theme is. In fact, uh, like neuroradiology, neuropathology and neuroanatomy, these things are actually the core part of the NIMHANS. They will be asked in the common paper, but they will be asked for all. all. So it is even the common paper has a bit of neuro tinge, but will, it will ask all the subjects. Like in neurosurgery, the important topics we usually say is head injury in depth. Everything about like you need read head injury for NEAT, you read about SDH, EDH, but do you don't need read the approaches towards these patients, surgical approach or brain tumors in more depth, brain tumors. And these are the basic things about neurosurgery, neuroanatomy, uh, neuro which are asked. So how do you prepare? Just as, just as Sir said, you have to revise all the subjects for whatever you have done for NEAT and AIMS. So it's a very good call if you are preparing for NIMHANS and AIMS may May exam simultaneously. Some students ask us, should I prepare for May or should I prepare for NIMHANS? If you are preparing for May, you are actually doing the common part together. And for NIMHANS, if you read Neuro in depth, this will definitely give you an edge in JIPMER, PGI as well as AIMS exam and for uh, spare, uh, focus on your main core speciality. So if you want to read, uh, prepare for neurosurgery, you have to read a bit more in depth neurosurgery, a bit more in depth neurology, a bit more in depth in psychiatry. And this is how the core structure in NAMS is. 
we always say that uh, in dams nimhans course which we offer the four core specialities which are important for all we have kept these classes for everybody neuro anatomy the basic neurophysiology the neurotransmitter synapses neuroradiology sir will tell about neuroradiology what the themes and neuropathology and then you have to read the uh, either of these three in depth and i also want to add here that in addition to the routine classes that you will have you can choose out of these options depending on what you are appearing for for example if you are appearing for neurosurgery you don't need to actually you know attend, pick, uh, attend the psychiatry part and you can either vice versa however we also will give you the study material to read for it we will take a mock test for nimhans we will give you previous nimhans papers solved on e medico's app with video discussions on those papers so that you can see how previous papers have been done especially for the neurosurgery surgery part i think that is very very important and we'll also give you question bank to practice the questions we'll give you two question banks psychiatry question bank separate neurosciences question bank separate in which include neurosurgery neuromedicine neuropathology you can have a look at those two question banks available online also neuroscience question bank we'll give you theory booklets also to read so neuro part will be taken care of completely in this particular program our program is you have to choose common is kind of for all you have to choose either one of these three or two of these three or all three and in, a, in addition to this what will you need in addition to this you will have to revise your notes just like you will do for mains just like you did for neat just like you did for previous aims same as that for those 70 questions this course this crash course is targeted for the 30 questions of specialty yes and this year we are starting the crash course on 16th January the classes uh, will be uh, held in the weekdays and we are starting the course you for enrollment you can have a look at the links given in the comments in this particular video i wish you all the best i'm sure if you have a neurosurgeon inside you it will come out and if you are a neurologist if you are a budding mm. new psychiatrist nimhans is a very very good institute to target a very very good exam to target we wish you all the best thank you